Eyewitness News has uncovered new details on a deadly shooting at a local strip club. The strip club has been temporarily shut down following this weekend's murder. The Board of Licenses says Club Balloons is a threat to public safety. And now we've discovered more about the chaotic moment shortly before the murder. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live outside Providence City Hall with more on what he's learned. Well, Mike, the board, which is here inside of City Hall, decided today to close the club at least temporarily. It comes after testimony from a Providence police detective who obtained videotape shortly before the murder when several fights were breaking out. And he says that's when the manager grabbed a machete, bouncers grabbed baseball bats instead of grabbing the phone and calling police. It was shortly after 5.30 Sunday morning when gunfire erupted outside of Club Balloons. 29-year-old Paulo Barboza was shot several times in the face and killed. In the wake of the violence, the strip club was brought before the Board of Licenses. Providence Detective Daniel O'Connell says surveillance video shows brawls inside and outside the club shortly before the murder. Subjects were just throwing punches, jumping over railings, jumping on top of uh, one subject, kicking, stomping, beating, uh, shirts were being ripped. After the fight, you could see uh, people holding their heads because of blood coming from their heads. Despite the violence, no one called the police. Instead, O'Connell told the board the club manager took things into his own hands. We have another video that shows Mr. Sal, the manager, going to his vehicle and pulling all these weapons out of his vehicle and handing them to the bouncers outside at the ramp outside the building. It was minutes later when Barboza was shot and killed. The club's lawyer offered to voluntarily close club balloons pending a hearing, but the Board of Licenses rejected the offer, saying the club is a risk to public safety. That is something the lawyer rejects, despite another murder outside of club balloons two years ago. Certainly the board isn't shy about bringing people before them and this is the first time albeit a very dangerous incident occurred so tonight balloon strip club will remain temporarily closed at least until a full hearing here inside of city hall in which it may be permanently shut down if it's up to the board of licenses a date for that full hearing hasn't been set we'll keep you posted and we're live tonight with the providence mobile newsroom i'm alex Deprato, eyewitness news